Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aquarius. And this is going to be for the week of the 29th of October to the 4th of November, 2023. I will be using my angel tarot cards. And to clarify, I'll be using my guardian angel messages tarot. So, let's see what messages we have for you, Aquarius. And guys, I also want to let you know that I have a friend who is an astrologer who is an astrologist and me and him we're planning to come live together so I'm gonna tag him in this video and if you guys want to go give him a follow and you know he's very good at what he does so if you guys want to give him a follow I truly appreciate it but we're planning to come live together so we can have some fun with astrology and the cards and stuff, you know? Good, clean, entertaining fun. You know what I mean? Truthful things as well. Because astrology is a lot more concrete than these are. And he's amazing. If I may say so. Ha! <laughs> Seriously. Okay. So Aquarius, this is for you. The Unity card. You know all there is to know. The Eight of Earth. About what the work you're doing. You know everything you need to know. Oh, you might be even studying something else too. Something whole brand new. But you're learning it. The Four of Water, you're missing an opportunity though. You feel a little discontentment and boredom. Don't be so self-absorbed that you can't see or that you miss an opportunity. Okay? The two of air, you're being unable or unwilling to make an, um, make an appointment, make a decision. Or you have a difficult decision to make. But the star card is here and she's here to tell you that, darling, don't you worry. Everything will turn out fine. And now we got the Ten of Fire. Huh. Oh. Yes, it's going to seem a little heavy. All right? But you're not going to dwell on that. You're going to change them thoughts into positive thoughts. And them feelings into positive feelings. Okay? So, this is the Ten of Fire. And this is, the word is burden. We have to be careful with the words that we put out. Okay? So we're going to try, if this is the word you feel right now, you're going to try to change that. You're going to stop and look at the situation from a different perspective, and you're going to see if you can find an easier way to get it done, or you're going to ask for help, okay? Because we're going to change the way we look at life now, and we're going to start speaking out positively. We're going to change a lot of things. So we got the ten of fire here. That's a little heavy, but that's going to go away. You got the seven of air. Your plans are going to need a little revision, but that's okay. Remember I said, just look at it from a different point of view or a different perspective. You got the four of earth here. You're either spending a little too much or you're holding on to what you got. You might be feeling a little off balance financially. The nine of earth, but things improve, right? Remember, life is up and down. But it depends how long you stay down. It depends on you. So your wishes come true, your concerns fade away. You got the nine of water. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's see. What do you know? You know a lot. That's you. I should take that out. 
That's you, Aquarius. Very brilliant. You're very experienced. You got a sense of humor? You know, y'all be scowling a lot of times, y'all. Y'all need to take it easy. Easy. Y'all take things really seriously. We got the Ace of Air Aquarius on top of you. You're going to have clarity. Yeah, you already know. And the lovers. You're going to have clarity where the lovers are concerned. <clears throat> now, I don't know if this is a Gemini because the, lov the lovers, and this is past energy. The lovers um, could um, signify a Gemini in your environment, okay? And um, maybe there's some choices or you're going to have clarity where this love is concerned. You got the Queen of Air, which is you. You got the Air, the Ace of Air, and you got the Lovers. You might be getting some communication, or you maybe you had some communication from a energy, from a Gemini energy. How did the communication go? You got some choices to make, or you had some choices to make. It seemed like the communication went well. You learned a few things. Now you're thinking about things. You got the star card. You got the wise counselor. And you got the hermit on top of the eight of earth. All that you need to know. Star card. Oh, wow. You got some wisdom. You, you know a lot of things. And you find those answers within. You got the star card. You keep your eye on the prize. Okay. You got the wise counselor. And you got the hermit. You have all the answers within you. And that came on top of the eight of earth. So whatever it is that you're very focused on right now, it seems like everything will work out. You got the, top, the four of water on top of the four of water. You got the six of fire. You have the empress and you have the four of water. So the six of fire is about you being successful. The empress is about abundance. But the four of water and you got the... Oh, I thought you had the four of water here before. Oh, this is on top of the four of water. You're very self-absorbed. You're thinking about a lot of things. Don't think so hard and bring in, ne bring in negativity into all the positivity that you have, okay? Look around you and see the abundance that's there. Okay, babies? Don't get too caught up. Because <clears throat> there is abundance around. You just have to open your eyes and you will see it. So you got the six of fire, you got the emperor, empress, abundance, and you got the four of water. So don't get so caught up where you missed it. Or maybe you missed it, I don't know. Because that's past energy. You got two air here, you couldn't make a decision for nothing. But you, hmm. Maybe not. Maybe you're unable to make a decision because you're not feeling fulfillment. I got the eight of water. On top of the two of air, I got the world card. The eight of water is like searching for something. The world card is like accomplishing something. However, we got the awakening card on top of that. And it seems like you're a little upside down right now and you really can't make a decision. You're at a pause. <laughs> no, it could be because you're stuck in your head here for a while. So there's something you've been thinking about, something that's on your mind a lot. You got the eight of water, you got the world, and you got the awakening card. On top of the two of air. The two of air is about decisions, okay? complex decision one that if you can make it might bring you some success you got the star card here happy times or two earth but whatever it is you gotta watch your step all right you're feeling a little off balance just watch your step you got the five of air there's some kind of conflict in your environment here but then there's a new beginning 
So what's this conflict about? What is going on here? Maybe you feel upside down emotionally. The eight of water can mean that as well. You just feel like your cups are empty, you know? Or your cup is empty. And you don't feel accomplished. You can't make a decision. You have to stand still. It's a pause right now. You got to look at things from a different perspective. Remember, you got the ten of fire here too. You got the star card. Above the star card, you have the two of earth. You got the five of air and you got the dreamer. Whatever it is that's bringing you um, conflict in your environment or making you feel off balance. Hmm. Your dreaming fit to go away to begin with. I don't want you to give up, okay? Even though things seem like it's taking... Maybe you spent a whole lot of money. Maybe something happened. Maybe you invested in something. Maybe something you did. There's nothing you can do about it now. Okay? And it's feeling very heavy on your shoulders. You got the two of earth. You got the five of air. And you got the dreamer on top of the star card. No matter what, keep your eye on the prize. Don't you give up. Aquarius, this is your time. Okay? This is your season. This is your season. And you got the Ten of Fire. On top of the Ten of Fire, you got the Chariot, you got the Ace of Fire, and you got the King of Fire. <clears throat> so, you're going to find a creative way. And there might be an energy here that will help you figure the things out. But this coming really fast. You're going to find a new, up, new way, a new creative way to figure things out. Or you're going to have a new opportunity coming towards you that's going to help you figure out this dilemma that you're in. Because it seems like a, like a dilemma. But it doesn't seem romantic, though. I mean, there's some kind of thing in the past here where love is concerned. To me, it seems more like, I don't know, I'm thinking money and arguing. Feeling empty, but not necessarily, I don't know, it could be both. Now, the king of fire could be an energy in your environment, or maybe what it is, is that's giving you a lot of responsibilities that you just took leadership or took charge of um, a situation, a project or something at work. You got the chariot. It's a lot, and this heavy feeling came really fast. You got the Ace of Fire, and you got the King of Fire. Now, the King of Fire, could, like I said, could be that you just took leadership, or it could be an energy in your environment. This could be a, this could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. Whatever it is, there's more going on than meets your eye. Make sure you're keeping an eye out. And I would say I keep an eye on your money. The seven of air is to me like betrayal, backstabbing, and things like that. On top of that came the five of earth, the strength card, and the knight of air. <laughs> I think you're already aware of whatever fraudulent, <laughs> I'm going to use that word, whatever fraudulent activities are going on in your environment. That feeling is temporary. You're going to take care of the situation. Um, you're going to change your plans around. Maybe... I have a feeling this has to do with business. I just have a feeling this has to do with business. I may be wrong. But you found your inner strength and you're going to have um, some clarity. You're very determined. You're going to have communication. You're very determined and motivated. And you got some strength out of this world. You will figure things out and you will have the clarity or the communication to give you the clarity that you need. You got the four earths. You're still feeling a little off. And this is why I think it has to do with business and money. And the two of earths. I mean, things are going good in your life. You know, don't stress about the, 
I ain't saying that I'm not I'm not saying that if you did something you invested in something and and you're not seeing seeing the results right away that just freak out and think the worst possible thing no keep thinking positive remember sometimes when we start something new It takes a while before it catches itself. Now, also, another thing that could be happening, and I hadn't thought about this, this is a seven year. Now, this is some information that I got from GG33. This is a seven year. This is a year of loss, injury, and um, gaining wisdom. So maybe it was not a good time to start something new. Or maybe, and not maybe, it probably was not a good time to start something new. You know, so maybe you're going to feel a little blows, but the year is nearly finished. Okay. Um, so just look at it that way. So on top of the four, you see, you got the ace of earth. You got the four of fire and you got the four of earth again. So, okay. So this is what I'm going to say. You're going to figure things out. There's going to be a new financial opportunity that will bring you stability. And you are going to feel stable. I'm going to use the four earth here as stability this time. Because I got the four ones next to it. And the ace of um, earth as well. So we got the ace of earth. We got the four of fire. And we have the four of earth. And I say that you found your stability. And then it says here, which has come true. This is the nine of water. Now maybe, you know, you're not feeling as emotional. You're deep in thought still, you know. But you're celebrating a little bit. You're having some friends. You're feeling pretty stable and grounded. You know? I got the emperor. This could be a fire energy in your environment. This could be an Aries. Maybe the Aries is going to help you figure things out. I don't know. But that's what I feel. And <laughs> maybe the Aries is going to bring you some love too. Because I got the ace of water. Or it could be abundant. However you want to look at it. However it resonates with you, my darling. You know I love you guys. You know I do. Oh, I love you so very much. You take good care of yourselves. And we'll chat again soon. But don't you stress. It's a little up and down financially here, business-wise. Something with love in the past here. I don't know, something to do with communication. You're thinking about something. But you feel a little upside down emotionally because of finances. But we got the ace of water. And I don't know, did I show you these three cards? Not, I think I did. The four air, the three of water, and the emperor. And then we got the ace of water. And we're going to leave it right there. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. Bye. Mwah.